going on guys clockwork here decided to do another Hackintosh install this time I did it on my Dell D531 laptop as you can see here there's Dell D531 hope it's not too blurry and you guys can see that uh, this is what was originally installed on it it's got the AMD Athlon 2 I took Windows Vista off and put on XP, so I'm dual booting uh, Windows XP along with my Hackintosh, Hackintosh install here. As you guys can see, let me show you this first here. Go to about this Mac. You guys can see I'm on 1057. There's my processor, 1.93 gigs. It shows Intel Core Duo, of course, but. Uh, it's not, that's just the Voodoo 9.7.0 kernel that's uh, tricking this into thinking it's an Intel. There's my memory, only one gig, which I will be upgrading soon. I actually use the, um, the install that I use for this, the 1057 is the iActos, I believe it's called. I didn't label the DVD, but that is the one that I used for this. I tried Caliway 1052, I tried Leo for All version 4. Everything seemed to install. All those seemed to install. The only problem is that some of them couldn't get the Wi-Fi working. Other ones would freeze on boot or I'd get a kernel panic no matter what kernel I would use. This one, as you can see here, I got the, uh, I got the sound to work. I got the Wi-Fi to work. I got the uh, battery meter as well. I have it plugged in right now. So I got all those things to work. Um, let's see if I can show you the sound here. I had to use a couple different hacks to get the sound and everything to work right. Hopefully you guys heard that. I'm not sure if you did. It's kind of low. There you go. It's kind of low. Uh, the mute doesn't work on here. It shows that it's muting, but it really won't mute it. There is another Apple HDA Kex file, I believe, that I can load to get that to work. Um, the only thing that does not work with this is the built-in video which is an ATI Radeon Express 1270 card. And I searched everywhere to see if that can work, and I'm being told that it can't. It's shared memory. There's a couple other reasons why I guess it can't work. Um, so for right now, I'm putting out uh, my display at 1020, 1024 by 768. That's the only thing that it can do. Uh, now, that's the bad part about it, of course. As you guys can see here, Mac Pro 2.1, 1.93, dual core, 1 gig memory, bus speed is 840 MHz. Um, everything else seems to be going good. It recognizes the Dell 1395 card as, uh, as the airport card. Let's see here. And that's me, third party wireless card. That's my uh, wireless network there. So that seems to work pretty good. I had to do a hack for that as well, and I will be writing that up probably in the descriptions uh, to show you exactly what I did to get that to install directly from the DVD. Uh, but as you can see here, everything else seems to be working fine. I'm actually going to put iLife on here soon, and hopefully that will be working out pretty good. But, um, that's the DVD I used straight out of the box. A lot of things were, weren't working as far as the wireless and the sound goes. I had to do some uh, little hacking for that. But it does work, so if you guys do want to try out Latitude D531, you can get the wireless and the sound to work. The only thing is that the 1280x800 uh, screen which this should be in resolution is only 1024 by 768 so that would be the only thing that would hold me back from doing it I just wanted to try this out to see if it would work it did wireless works every time on reboot now sound does as well but again I'll, I'll put in the description exactly what I did to get that to work but um just thought I'd show you guys a little bit of this here and uh, that's it I showed you pretty much system profiler and everything showed you that the wireless is working the uh, trackpad and mouse is working you have to select that from the beginning as well and again in the description I'll, I'll put everything that I did to get this to work the way that I have it working now so just a little video to show you guys that this does work on a D531 laptop again this is my second Hackintosh install 
I have another computer I'm using Caliway 1052 if you guys checked out all the other videos that I did you'll see that I've got that as well um, I had a hard time with Caliway 1052 on here Leo for all triple x86 all those seem to work and seem to install so I'm gonna give kernel panics other ones when I tried to download the 9.5.0 voodoo kernel and upgrade through the regular um, Apple software update it would give me a kernel panic or it just wouldn't start period at all it wouldn't restart even if I go into safe mode all that it, it just wouldn't let me get in so this one I found was uh, natively already on the DVD at 1057 so that's the one I decided to go with and try it out so that way I wouldn't have to worry about upgrading some of them I did were 1052, 1054, 1055 this is right there at 1057 so I'm already updated I could already put you know iLife on here and do things like that but again I'm not sure what good any of that stuff's gonna do if I can't view the native resolution of this uh, computer here but uh, there you go again I'm using transmission here it's kinda blurry probably but uh, you can see that it's downloading I'll open up Firefox to show you guys that the wireless really is working there you go you have Yahoo click on anything here I can even go to YouTube watch videos the sound works pretty good and uh, there you go that's pretty much it so I'll write up everything in the description that I need to do and hopefully I'll do a step-by-step -step after this just in case uh, anybody needs to know how else to do this I, I wasn't able to find any YouTube videos on a latitude D531 so I figured I'd be the first one that I saw and put it up and show you guys that it does work so uh, again clockwork peace